Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. So we've been back from holiday just over a week now, it's just over a fortnight. Here's the tribe we met on holiday, all gathered up in Dad's garden. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Um, we went to a Hawk Conservancy just outside Andover, and very interesting. I tried some indoor skydiving. We went to Disney and saw the tulips in Amsterdam. And uh, we had to empty the hydroponics out before we left, except the celery and the strawberries we left in. So everything here has been replanted. So we um, planted a whole lot of brassicas and they're all coming up nicely. Um, uh, Rainbow Chard, we bought existing plants for. Um, ditto the pack troy we went out and we bought plants and planted those out. We're doing some experimental planting, so we've got some spaghetti squash going here. Last year we planted courgettes over winter and they went really, really well. We've got some tomatoes come up. So we've got some Roma and we've also got some of the um, New World My Little Garden Cherry tomatoes that have come up. So when they get a little bit bigger, we'll pop them in some pots. We've also got some self-seeded tomatoes that we just found growing in the ground down here. So I've got one of those sitting in a pot and I'll probably um, dig some more of those up. But they're all hybrid so I've no idea what I'm going to get. But they're going to go in the back one there. And I'm also trying to grow peppers over winter and see how they do. Those have done pretty well while we've been away. And custard apples, we've been looking after those. And the lemon's done pretty well. We've had neighbours come in and watering everything. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all looking pretty good. And we have helper. Don't be ruthless. Do we have a helper? Do we have a little helper? Laying down some weed matting in the hydroponic greenhouse. Nice way of cutting the weed matting without leaving frayed edges. Low torch. Ta-da! It stinks a bit though. Yeah, alright, it stinks a bit. So this time we've actually, I've actually named what I've planted, which is um, unusual for me. So these are cabbage, they're actually a uh, space saver, which we've tried many times before and worked really, really well in the hydroponics. Spaghetti squash. These are kohlrabi, they're the purple lazar kohlrabi. Again, we've tried those and they've worked really, really well. These are brassica tender stems, so they're sprouting broccoli. The main problem we have with those is they do too well, and you have to come along and hack them quite brutally. The mustard streaks are not something you tend to see around, so they're a, a green that produces um, frondy leaves that taste very, very strongly of mustard. They're wonderful with sausages. And the last thing we've got is good old Cavello Nero, which is a really dark kale. I'm just a good, solid, reliable source of leafy greens in winter. The chard just tends to go rampant. Our main problem with the chard is, is stopping it from breaking pots because it just grows so huge. We've got five plants and so we'll probably take them out before they get too big. Um, like um, we've got beans in here. These are rockfoot, so they're wolf yellow. And um, we have one of the pots break. Um, so I opened it up and we can see that they're definitely sprouting. I'll put these in new pots. I've got another couple of spaces. But it definitely looks like they're going to come up. Um, so we'll see how well they do. But I expect they're going to do pretty well because you get a lot of light in winter in Masterton. The important thing really is making sure the frost doesn't hit them. So as you can see we've got a lot of things to do both in the greenhouse and around the farm. But for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm.